The problem is in developing country is that we are now uh, already suffering the impacts of climate change and we are also bound to challenge uh, our traditional view of development because we also need to have uh, development paths with lower carbon emissions. And of course we have some information, some data and science can help, but science does not provide all the answers. We have a lot of uh, uncertainties around. So uh, our challenge is actually how within this context, how we can translate the available information, the best science, the best uh, evidence we have into action. We have to work with uh, drivers of change, people in institutions, be governments, uh, central governments, uh, local governments, NGOs, business, in order to make this change towards a more sustainable development that will be climate resilient and also uh, compatible with uh, climate protection. It's very important to uh, take it right, convey the right message, what evidence we have and what gaps we have in knowledge that uh, have to be filled. But we cannot wait and see and wait until this, uh, all these gaps are filled because we don't have the time in the climate change process, in the climate change problem. So we have to address this challenge with some uh, uncertainty management approach and uh, doing risk assessments and also trying to go for the decisions that we can take now that we know that are robust enough to uh, provide us the time to getting better understanding and better technology uh, for uh, solving the climate change problem. And I think the transformation in terms of uh, new programs, new actions that will actually uh, undertake and be uh, by uh, business, uh, NGOs or uh, governments, this can be new policy measures, new laws and regulations, this can be also uh, technological projects in the field to address both adaptation and mitigation challenges. I think if we can make a difference, if we can work together with uh, the, the local drivers of change, I think then we'll be uh, a success story.